Good morning, this is Paula, your Golden Ray Twin Flame Earth Angel. And this is our weekly Twin Flame Divine Love Reading in the energies of Aries. I've prayed and prayed over and shuffled these cards. Let's start with the masculine. Two of Earth. Six of air and four of earth. And the feminine has the knight of earth, the eight of fire, and the magician. And the card at the bottom of the deck is the knight of fire. Here's the knight of earth, the knight of fire. And two, four, six. Okay, the um, foundational card for the masculine is the four of earth. And it says, being too frivolous or cautious with money, good business decisions, and giving to those less fortunate. And see in the little basket? She's got like coins or something precious in her little basket and there's a little fairy watching over that for her and things looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip And the two of earth. Too much going on, the need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. And the feminine has the night of earth. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honour your commitments, a guardian angel. And the eight of fire. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. The feminine had that last week too. And the masculine, um, the masculine, sorry, the magician. Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So both the masculine and the feminine are crowning with earth energies. Now he's got a lot going on, but he's grounded in his earth energy. And in the centre of all this, things are looking up. And, you know, it's the end of this difficult situation where maybe he was a bit out of balance um, financially because there's been a lot going on but you know he sorted all that out in his head and he's able to to move forward and things are looking up and for the feminine well she's the foundation is the magician so The magician is saying that she's ready. Archangel Raziel is helping her to be ready. And even though things are moving at a very fast pace, because it is the Aries energy and that's all about, you know, let's go, let's do this. And, you know, that's helping her to ground in her earth energies. And to buckle down and get things done. So no matter how, you know, no matter how difficult things have been and how quickly things are moving, she's got Archangel Raziel guiding her and she can move forward with confidence, with kindness and, you know, being 
dedicated to her soul path and her soul journey. So there's no need to worry because the magician is here to help you through these this fast paced time and the night of fire. Passionate, adventurous, self-assured and restless. So time is of the essence, things are moving forward very quickly. And this is for both of them of course in the in the Aries energies. So let's go on to the higher energies of both. The masculine has the void and the feminine has the temple and heaven is the card at the bottom of that deck. And the void says at the ending of every cycle and at the beginning of every cycle there is a moment of transition. It may last for any amount of time, a moment of feeling or many years of deep inner work whilst feeling displaced. The transition may require patience to endure the absence of knowing, the lack of certainty about who you are and why you are here. A void may open up between one moment of meeting with your lover and the seemingly endless stretch of time, even if it's only days that seem as though they are eternal in duration, as you wait to reconnect again. And this oracle brings you guidance. There's parts of your own process unfolding that you simply cannot know about yet. It will not always be this way. But for now, it's most helpful for you to only deal with what is immediately before you. All else will be shown when the time is right. There's growing to be done, and then the void will bring forth the next step on your path to meet you. You don't have to worry and you don't have to search. Be present, be patient. When you can do something, do it. When you cannot, just be. Your time will soon come. If you're holding a question about a relationship, surrender it into the void and let it become what it must be according to spiritual wisdom and love. The lover and the beloved meet in sacred space. They take respite from cares of the world entering into sanctuary where only they exist. You are in need of this. Meditation, connection and dance, intimacy and surrender into the moment. Your body and soul need to enter into the temple and participate in sacred ceremony. Choose to gift this to yourself. Set aside time, turn off the computer and the mobile phone, turn on music and set the lighting. Be in the present moment. And this oracle brings guidance to take time out to smell the flowers, savour the pleasures of life and renew your connection to the inner lover. Your sensuality wants to come out and play. So isn't that beautiful? The void, see, this is it. Intellectually, he wants to take a trip. He just wants to relax from you know, all what's going on in the ego matrix and he just wants to get away and he could be getting away into the void just into that space where there's no problems, there's no worries and he can just relax and just be and same with the feminine the temple, I mean Things are moving at a very fast pace and there are many things happening at once and the temple is within, that's where you go to recharge your batteries, to remember who you are, to remember your divine love and your divine purpose. And the unified energy card for both is heaven. 
you are meant to live in heaven. Now, not later, sometime after you die. What use is this life and body if not to live heaven now? And this oracle brings you a special message. You are being called to more, more divinity, more love, more acceptance, more embrace of life itself. There is no limit in what is being offered to you from the divine lover calling to you, the beloved. Rejoice and know that the dance of love between you and the divine is a removing of veils of illusion one at a time. Until you behold each other naked and true, finally to discover you are each other and you are love. And that's a perfect card for the joint energies of the masculine and feminine um, for both of their individual higher selves because that's what it is, heaven. When you go into the void or the temple to your inner space where you are love, you are beauty, you are eternal, you are everything. You are God's child. And now we go to the unified energy field for the masculine and the feminine. And they have Divine Mother Manifest. <laughs> so even though this is, you know, Aries energy, which is, you know, supposed to be a masculine, powerful fire energy, the Divine Mother is showing she's still here. She's not going anywhere. And you know, it is her energies that is manifesting at this time and passion for purpose. This oracle comes to you via the sacred grace and mercy of the Divine Mother who is the great manifesting expression of divinity. All that is created, all that is made manifest without exception flows from her being. This is why it's safe to trust in life. Even the inexplicable mystery and even the darkness that may give rise to fear and judgment within us, it's all part of her unfathomable working. So we pray for light, we pray for love, we honour and live our lives with its mysteries with as much integrity as we can muster. But beyond that, it's best to participate in this life with much less certainty than the mind would have us believe necessary for inner peace. Inner peace doesn't come with understanding. It comes with trusting. Can we understand a star or a galaxy? Perhaps not. Yet we can choose to trust in its beauty and beingness and from it derive great energy, hope and inspiration. Through the divine ways, of the Divine Mother, there is a gift headed to you now. The gift is one of manifestation, something you've been working toward, growing into, loving and dreaming for, perhaps for a very long time, is coming to fruition. You're being asked to receive this gift completely and utterly, whether you feel sufficiently worthy or not, it is time and the bestowal of this gift is as it should be. Receive it completely, it's yours, and it's meant to be so. This oracle comes with additional guidance for you. No matter whether or not things appear to be working out, they are, and you are held in the loving protection of the Divine Mother to keep you from straying from your highest path and divine destiny. There is work here for you to do upon this planet in your own unique way and it's the work of the Divine Mother, the work of love. So Passion for Purpose says that we must be brave. Even in the sweetness of the journey back to the real self, we must dare to believe that we are not broken that we are not inadequate or better off to be like some other person or some other person's view of how they think we should be. We must be brave enough not to believe in the layers of guilt and shame. We must be bold enough not to fear our passion 
As we dive deep within and explore what really makes us tick, what makes us feel alive, we must be open, curious and non-judgmental. That may be a subtle journey at first. We may feel as though we are looking in the dark, wondering if we will ever catch a glimpse of the light, of the passionate meaning we hope to find. And the passionate purpose may at first be barely recognisable amongst all the shoulds, cannots, must do of our lives. We must stay true to the path, however, then the light will become unmistakably clear. And you're being initiated more deeply into your life purpose. Your passion will reveal itself to you with more depth, nuance and beauty than ever before. If parts of your life are disassembling or do not seem to be working out as you had planned, these are symptoms of this passionate revelation. Be curious and open to what presents itself in the wake of the falling away. Be ready for the journey within now. You're strong enough to leave behind the need for external validation whilst you learn to validate yourself. And in time, soon enough in fact, you shall reveal your innermost beauty and be witnessed and received, acknowledged for your innate value, purpose and divinity. But for now, sweet beloved, dive deep, be defiant and determined to honour your heart so your deep passion may be witnessed by you and eventually, naturally, make its way into sacred expression in the world. So if you've recently discovered a new talent or purpose or have been dreaming some big dreams, this oracle comes to you with guidance and confirmation. You are excited and follow that excitement. Let it lead you into your own heart truth and onto an ever more passionate path of purposeful living. And isn't this the perfect card for these new Aries energies? Passion for purpose, the beautiful, passionate card. And when you do have passion for your purpose, that's when you are in heaven when your purpose is, is beautifully manifesting through the love and divine care of the mother. So you can move forward with passion this week because you've got passion for your purpose and that is your heaven. So it's a beautiful week. It's a lovely week on this journey and what a blessed and beautiful journey this is. It's the journey to love. This is Paula, your Golden Ray Twin Flame Earth Angel, saying have a fantastic week. Thank you.